Okay, right. welcome everyone. We hope maybe some others will join. Um, I don't think we need introductions. This is David Spencer on the phone here. Um, do we have enough Hi. to do? Hi. Yes, we, we, we do. In fact, uh, now it's probably a good time to announce that Sherilyn asked to uh, be excused from the commission. So we're down to five members, which means we need three for a quorum. So we've got all but Jason here. So that's plenty for a quorum. Okay. Well, let's, um, I want to uh, propose that we approve the minutes from April 26, 2021. We have a second for that. I'll second that. Awesome. Thank you. I ask for a vote, Elaine. Well, let's ask for a vote. All in favor? All, all in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Okay, Summerfest. Um, I got it, finally got a hold of Tony. It took him a while to get back to me, but he said they do not want to be in the parade this year, Tony Cook. Okay. Um, and so I've got a call into Shade Home and Garden. They were supposed to get back to me by this afternoon, and they have not. So I will continue to. They sounded interested. At least the manager lady thought that was a great idea. Um, I don't know that they have plant material to hand out because they didn't plan on that, but they would at least, um, you know, hand out coupons or flyers or something. Okay. So what were the other ideas for our, what we were going to do? John, did you have ideas? Yeah, on that? I, have, I have some stuff. Okay. So I'm going to share real quick a picture of... A vehicle that I've, I've shown this to a read and this is a vehicle that uh, hopefully I can do this right um, maybe I can't do this hold on oh I can share it Sean you have you... a copy of that? can you share it yeah I, I was able to get a hold of a vehicle that we can use in the parade for our Kind of our center point or center focus of of, of our entry it's a 57 convertible t-bird and the back of it there's there's like a half of the t-bird that it pulls along the back to pose it uh -huh. so it has a two-seater and then there's two little seats in the back of the other one so i wanted to use yeah, that as the fun. main um focal piece for our parade you know right behind the banner we can decorate the outside you know put some signs on it or maybe a couple of the beautification um, award signs display those on there as well. Um, so that's going to be in the in the parade with us. That is awesome. Um, I guess we, we can hand out candy. That's correct. To the email we got. So we need to, I, I will go down and purchase. I'm not sure what what was the amount that we've done in the past, Reed, as far as um, total money. I, I'd have to look it up, but we do have budget for it. Okay. So I have the banners for the front that we carry. We need two people on that. Um, we have the vehicle. I am probably going to throw a couple of my little kids in there with me because I have to babysit them. <laughs> That'll keep them contained. But I, I was thinking it would be good if we could add other friends or family members or neighbors that want to walk with us just to make it a bigger group so we don't have like three people walking. And I'll um, be in, in the uh, car with Sean. Okay. Well, he told us that he was going to be watching you, Aaron. Tanya, well, you're not going to be able to be there? No, we have a family reunion that weekend, and so I'm going to be gone. I, I'm sorry, I was, I didn't think we were going, but we are. Well, I just had something come up too. It's a surprise party for my best girlfriend in San Diego's 60th uh, party, 60th birthday party. And so we have to go to San Diego that weekend. So. So that means it's just gonna be me and my dad. <laughs> Maybe Jason. <laughs> We're going to find out if Jason's going to go. Um, well, we can put Reed in the back and he can uh, represent the city. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun. 
fun, Reed. It's really fun. You can do that I've, hand waving. I've people. done it in the past. Okay, do you, so do you have kids or grandkids that could hold the signs? Do you think any of our our past rating queens would like to ride in that? What are you talking about? I don't know if we have enough, Aaron. It sounds like you keep filling more and more people in this car that has limited seating. <laughs> we need walkers. So, I'm assuming Reed, you're probably not going to be in the parade, right? I I wasn't planning on it. Okay. We 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 usually have stuff going on that weekend. Yeah, and I I know you're going to be busy with that because you're on the the summer the board fest committee. For that. Yeah. So, um. If it's just going to be me and my dad, and I need to find out from Jason if he's going to be involved, then I might just have to adjust and just make do with the amount of people we have. Now, what's... Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was going to suggest the other commission, the other group that does the Star Homes, if they might want to be involved, or we just keep it to our group. What, what group is that? Um, Reed, what is the name of the lady that um, does the, when somebody fixes up a yard, the star homes or something? Oh, they call it? that's Kenna. Kenna, yeah. Yeah, Kenna, that's, they're not, that's kind of an internal city group. Uh, okay. The neighborhood, the ne neighborhood preservation with the public, with the police, they identify homes that have turned their bad habits around. So that there's no citizen advisory component to that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I could make a big balloon that looks like flowers to put on the car. You know, like this has balloons on it if we want. Yeah, that'd be great. Um, I could get those made before I, I left. And also my daughter owns a yard sign company, but I, I don't know if there's enough space on that car to really say much. You know what I mean? What do you and think? What kind of sign are you thinking of? Well, you know, like you've seen in yards that say happy birthday so-and-so. I don't know, we could say something like make or in bloom or something like that but it would take space so on on the vehicle what i was thinking is having a couple of the beautification award things that we have mm -hmm. that we get out yeah and then I, I was gonna try to make myself but if if she can do that it, it would be helpful try to make some kind of um poster or something that says where to find us on the internet so like facebook and through the uh, city website to advertise us, so like have a, have like the uh, Facebook, so, you know, look us up on Facebook, and then have well, maybe the uh, the ad the URL for the uh, city site with our you know how people can find us if they want to look us up. Yeah, that I mean, hers are pre-made; they're already. I okay. mean, our letters is what they are. Okay, then I'll I'll probably still do that the same. Um, okay. Yeah, as far as this, I don't know. I I will. I, I'm gonna see if I can find other people close to me that would be willing to join us so that we can have more bodies because it'd be nice to have people carrying that banner. Otherwise, we can't carry that. There's no way we're gonna do it. You know, handing out candy, but um, I guess it kind of comes down to that. If we can find enough bodies, to, if you and Tanya are gonna be gone, then it's pretty much me and my dad and what we can find. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, you should feel sorry. <laughs> Just kidding. You're gonna miss out. It's gonna be fun. I know. It looks awesome. I love that vehicle. If, if worse, if worse comes to worse, we've got the vehicle. We've got a few signs. Um, we don't. We wouldn't be able to toss out candy unless we had walkers. Yeah. Um, but that it would. The simplest that we would do would be the car with some of our neighborhood signs on it. And, um. We, balloons, uh, yeah. And some balloons, yeah. But it would be nice to have the sign at the front so that everyone knew that this was the Beautification Commission. Well, so what, 
What I'll do in the next uh, that could help us? Say it again, Dad. Is there any teenagers that would like to, you know, that I don't know. Uh, I'm just thinking of maybe some of the the uh, older teens would like to be involved and. Well, that I mean, that's that's possible. It's just who, though. We gotta we we can't just like have some random people join us. I mean, I'd like it to be someone we know, or maybe someone that's like a neighbor or a family member or a friend or something. So I, what I'll do the next few days is I'll I'll look into see if I can acquire that. Um, so that will if if I can get other people to walk with us and just wear you know bright colorful shirts like flower colors or whatever. Then we can get a couple people to carry the banner, a couple to hand out candy, and then I can be in their vehicle. Um, if we can't do that, then I'll just, it, I mean, the vehicle is still pretty nice, and I can decorate the sides in that and the front with, you know, some signs, and maybe I'll do a smaller sign in the front that says the Beautification Commission and not use the big one that we made previous. Yeah. So. Maybe the young women in your ward or neighborhood would want to yeah, be involved. I have a couple options. I've already talked to a couple of people that um, I'm going to hear back from them soon if they are going to be able to do that. But what time um, is the parade? It's seven. At seven. I might have someone who can do it. She works for the rec center, or the not the rec center, the you know, the rec center, but it's not called that. Fitness center. She works for the fitness center. So, what I would say, Tanya, is if if you can find out from her and if she can. Then maybe yeah. email me her name and, and number, and I'm, I can just make sure I let her know specifically where to go when we get parade information. If she can, I'll just I'll email her back or contact her and say meet us here at this time, what such and such, and then I then I can know like a head count of who's going to be there. Okay, I'll 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 get I'll recruit at least two people to okay. participate, and they'll probably be young adults. I'm guessing. Okay. Well, just plug that it's going to be fun and people love us when we're there with, yeah. with candy. And most yeah. likely people can hand out candy and they'll be like the, the hit of the parade. So I hope that will be an incentive in that. It really is fun. I'm really sad I'm going to miss it. And we're missing the fireworks. I have, I have requested that we be as close to the front as possible. So they, they seemed uh, amenable to accommodating that request. I know you've asked for that in the past, Sean. Yeah, yeah. that would be really helpful too. That way I can say hi to uh, Gary Herbert. <laughs> Isn't he the, uh, the Grand Marshal? He yes. is, he and his yep. wife. <laughs> that's awesome. So that's basically where we stand with the parade. I mean, I, I will take care of what we need. And if, if like Tanya's gonna do, if anyone else wants to recommend people that have some connection to the city or you know, maybe they work in the city offices and they want to participate with us and send me information on them and the more the merrier. April, what are the guidelines for getting petty cash if Sean wanted to come and get cash from us or get reimbursed? What what are what are the limitations that we have in purchasing in that regard? Um, you can't spend more than two hundred dollars and if you spend your own money, just bring me a receipt. And we can um, cut them a check. Yeah, if you'll bring me a receipt. If it's more than 200 then bring me a receipt and then we'll cut a check. If it's less than 200 I can give you cash from our petty cash. Okay, I think that rings a bell that 200 I don't know. I think, I think it does too. About $200 in candy. Yeah. $200 okay. in candy is roughly 200,000 calories probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so... Um, I, I will hopefully find out by the end of this week how many people we can have to add. Because if we do get more than we, then I'll get candy. Otherwise, I'm not going to go. We can't get enough. So you'll, re you'll reach out to Jason, too, and see what his plans are. Yeah, I'll, I'll ask him if he's going to be there. Okay. And I have a couple of people that I've already asked, and I'm just waiting to find out. Okay. If, if, we, if, we, if we as staff can help as the event gets closer to get anything put together, let us know. Okay. I mean, it, if if Elaine wants to make any kind of decoration to add, that's great. That would save me some time, and then she can just get it to me, and then I can post it wherever it needs to go. That, that would be the biggest help. Okay. Yes, I can do that. Okay. I can do that. Anything flower, flowery, colorful, you know, 
right anything like that kind of like okay. what the beautification yard signs look like just anything that'll make it look like we're all about decorating the flowers and making the city look nice yeah and my daughter might have some flower signs too that we could you know put on the car so okay and sean you'll check with the car owner to make sure that however we affix something to the vehicle is an acceptable way of yeah. putting something on there so yeah i'll pop Damage. He's pretty. He's pretty easy going as far as that. I mean, if you can imagine that when I just mentioned if it was possible to to borrow it, I I was expecting him to be willing Same. to drive it, but he's like, no, just come by and get it, and I'll have it ready for you. So <laughs> <laughs> he nice. actually offered. He first offered to, for me to take his classic Porsche out, My but that didn't have enough uh, seating, and I wanted something bigger that was open. I'll, so I'll drive that. Yeah, <laughs> sure you will. Um. Anyway. Yeah, I'll, I'll actually do something good. I don't know how to mute my thing. Milo, be quiet. Um, uh, were, Tanya, were you able to talk to anybody about joining the commission? Yeah, sorry, I was having technical difficulties when you asked that question earlier. I talked to him. Uh, I don't think he's applied to do it. I don't think he's going to, so I kind of need to be thinking about other people. No, the person I was thinking of is now moving to Saratoga. <laughs> so, um, I think what I'll do, Elaine, I'm gonna I'll get on Facebook on our Facebook page and post a few times over the next couple weeks um, that we're looking for new members and that they have to be um, residents of the city, and then have them, you know, private message us if they're interested, and then we can contact them and find out more details from them. I think that might be the the best way because we have a lot of followers and a lot and most of them are are, are residents and it's possible that they might be interested whoever's on there so that's a really good idea that is a good idea yeah. awesome. are, are there anybody that we've given awards to that you know their home uh, awards maybe they might be talking to them that's that's probably a good idea um i know there's at least the awards that I've given out over the past few years, a lot of those people that have been recipients joined or started following our Facebook page after that, so they might already be on there. So if I ask that question, okay. the page, hey, Sean, might a response. Sean, if, if Donnie's home, did we get him to ride with us? No, that's not going to happen. <laughs> he, he doesn't even live in Orem. <laughs> well, that's okay. Yeah. Aaron, let's explain the rules to you once again. again. Sean knows Donnie Osmond real well. No, not real well. Well, I'll cancel my trip if you get Donnie. I'll yeah. <laughs> Are you serious? Okay. Thanks. Okay. Hi, Donnie. Donnie, you can sit in the back of that little back thing with him. I mean, Tony, if, if, if you want me to hook up a meeting where you can just meet him, then I could do that. I would probably... I would love to meet him some, sometime. That would be really fun. We'll, we'll talk later <laughs> about that. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Sean. <laughs> okay, so that, that's it for the parade stuff. I don't think there's anything else. Okay. Any other items of business that we need to discuss? Okay. Then um, um, Let me just ask one thing. I, Sean told me they're going to take care of that hill on... Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, West uh, Center Street. Center Street. Yep. Can you tell me what that's what's going to happen there? Who's going to do it? What they're going to do? I can't remember the name of the contractor, but uh, the contract was being reviewed a couple weeks ago, so I, it should be close. I, I don't know the name of the company, but they're going to be uh, landscaping the north side of the building from approximately oh. 900 or 950 west all the way to about a thousand or 1100 west just the that steep side of the hill on the north side um and uh just adding a bunch of shrubs and uh just decorative water wise landscaping you know Reed, there's another thing that i my wife keeps asking me about is um We've got some signs up that uh, really don't do our city justice. And I'm looking at other city signs, and especially coming in from Provo up the hill on the Center Street. They have a side there, but it's really not 
that glamorous. Can we get the city council to approve putting in some some metal looking signs? You have a over there on eight, is it eight hundred that you've got. Yeah, we it's we eight hundred. Uh, you got some real nice. Eight hundred North has one. Yeah, the plan. The, we've asked for um, money in our CIP budget to begin um, replacing or installing monument signs at the main um, entrances to the city. Um, it'll take time. We're not going to do it all at once, but we'll we'll slowly chip away at it. Well, you know, mainly um, some priority streets. I know we don't yeah. catch it all with it. You know, a few priority streets because I know Center Street is a is a very busy street and, yes. and 800 uh, North. We have them at University Parkway and 800 North. Center Street has one um, with that fountain on this on the north side of the road as you as you come up. Well, let, let me tell you something about that. Since my wife's an artist, she says when you come off the freeway sometimes you don't see that because there's too yeah. much traffic and it's on the wrong side of the street so can we have a move that fountain over to the other side? <laughs> yeah that's not going to happen <laughs> no i just think if we have something on the other side maybe where that that hill is you know going up there's a a little spot yeah. there where you could put a sign and i don't think it belongs to that guy that uh, doesn't keep his property up but yeah, the city owns, uh, right now we're focused on the north side, um, the south side, and maybe I said that wrong earlier. Um, it is the north side that we will be landscaping. The south side, we do own some property there, and had we been able to fund the entire project to do the south side also, the hope was to put a monument sign there too. When we, do get, when we do get funding to do that, the likelihood of there being an additional entrance sign at that, at that location is... Is I, pretty I, I, good. Know, I know we could do, you know, that lawyer that has his uh, bankruptcy sign up there. You want that in your yard? No, I could say, you know, if we want to continue to give you a permit to put that up, can you donate uh, to us putting up a sign there? It says City of Ward. Yeah. <laughs> always, with, hey, I, always have clever ideas, Aaron. Well, Sean and I will go over in, in black suits and black hats. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I had a question, Reed, for, about something. Yeah. It's ba it's primarily, if you know who owns this this land, if you're going, coming up 800 North um, and you get up by the hospital and you're there's the junior high on the right and you're going west, or I'm sorry, east, after you pass the junior high, there's like a little side frontage road along... 800 north and there's right along between that and 800 north there's a strip of of land that's just sagebrush weeds dirt yep. that you own? yeah that uh, the neighborhood approached us a couple years ago um about wanting to um volunteer to let's see aaron are you joining twice yep <laughs> I don't know how you did that, Aaron. You're uh, muted, Aaron. Okay. Uh, the, the neighborhood in that area um, asked if the city could do something. That's actually UDOT right of way, uh, but UDOT gives us permission to landscape. That's how that's how we landscaped the south side of 800 north from 1200 west to uh, to the east. Um, that's the last little segment that needs to be done. We requested money to do that this year, um, and uh, that's currently in the tentative budget. So it's likely that that project will get done this year if we can get the neighborhood, which approached us wanting to help landscape that area, volunteering sweat equity uh, to do that. Um, uh, it's, it's probable that that will get done during this fiscal year. Am I still on the meeting? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because it said I left the meeting and I have it. I'm still here. Okay, that's fine. Go ahead, Reed. I'm done. I just finished. Does that answer your question, Sean? Yeah, I was just curious. Um, if there's something going on, then I'm not going to worry about it. I, I just thought, well, I mean, if anything, we could just rip out the weeds and just put rock there. But if there's plans, then... Yeah, it'll, it'll have a water-wise landscaping look to it. 
So I'm wondering, I mean, like, would we be, would we want to like participate in that as a commission? Yeah, so I think they, that, they do that. I think that would be appropriate once we get plans put together, that that would be a good way, f a good, op a good service project for commission members to come and show, you know, show that they support what they yeah. signed up for. Awesome. Yeah, that'd be great. Well, keep us posted if you find out when that's going to happen and then I wouldn't mind helping. Yep. I can do that. Okay, I will let everybody know as soon as I, if, if shade falls through, then I'm going to approach Sun River. But if, you know, we have nothing, it's, that would be sad. I, it's free advertising for them. So I'm guessing something will come through, but I'll let you know through email. Yep. Let me know and then I'll, you know, I'll just, I can find them when it's time for the parade and then they can just be right behind us and do whatever they want to do behind us. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Um, any other items then? Are we good? When do we want to meet again? Are we thinking the end of summer, first of fall? I'm good with whatever. We, we need to be handing out our signs. If you haven't collected your signs, go get them um, and reporting that on the website. Elaine, I think if uh, if we get commission members sooner rather than later, then we might want to meet again sooner so we can kind of get them up to speed. That's a good idea. I think, I think it might be dependent on that, whether we meet next month or the month after. Okay. So actually, the month after might be right around. Uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, that might be an issue, but I, I guess it kind of depends. I, maybe we should like just put it on, make it, make it tentative for now until we. Okay. Okay. It In would July? be July twenty eighth would be the fourth Monday, which is when we typically meet. What would be yeah. after? So okay. we, maybe maybe we do that for sure, and then if we have new members join before that, then we like before our next before June then we might want to get them up to date with what we do and have them participate in that. I don't know. Okay. That's Great idea. idea. Well, who is going to be, uh, I'm covering Vicki's sign area. Who's going to cover, um, the wings? I got Carolyn's stuff. I grabbed it. So I'm, okay. I'm, I just need, uh, April to send me any, uh, um, nominations that she got and I'll. Okay. Good to know. I have a question. Yes. Uh, Reed, can we give awards previous or to uh, like businesses that have had one in the past? We'd prefer you not to, but if you can't find anything else, I'm not gonna. We're not gonna kick you off the commission. Well, I need <laughs> I need to have some suggestions because I'm running out of businesses. Well, maybe maybe we need to have you do some residential areas. If we if you feel you've covered, you've recognized all of the deserving businesses, but I, I don't, I think, I think there might be some businesses and areas that you may not have been. Prepared. Yeah, that's true. So if any of you see one, let me know. And, you know. Okay. Do we have a list of the businesses like for the last five or six years that you've done that we could have? I mean, cause I do, I have been noticing that there are quite a few businesses that are keeping things pretty nice, but I don't know if they've already received an award. Yeah, the map the map you should be able to click on the different layers to see the business awards oh, April okay. April will make sure to separate business awards from residential oh, okay great thanks okay okay thanks um I make a motion to adjourn our meeting then until July I'll second it or when needed thank you thanks everybody thank you thank, thank you April and Reed we'll see ya okay, we'll see bye you bye bye